All right, today I got in uh, some Shero Whistling Broadheads. These are made in China. They have a five openings around, basically like blowing air across a pop bottle or a bottle top. It whistles. These things are louder than what I thought and tougher. They'll fit your carbon arrows, your standard carbon arrows. The cool thing, they can pop on. So long as you have them seated all the way down, it don't usually blow them apart because they'll separate right here. If you have worries about that, just dedicate a few arrows and glue around. You won't have too much of an issue. Let's we'll see if we can pop that apart. They come apart to where you can actually clean them out because they will fill full of dirt and crap. Pop together, they're just plastic. They're like two bucks a piece, I think. It's 10 something for six of them, so they're a little less than two dollars. I figured when I got them, if anything, they'd work as a blunt for small game if have to. I was shooting them off my little 35 pound bow and they whistle pretty good. They I can't hear them until they get out a little bit, so that tells me they're probably a little higher pitch. But if you shoot them up in the air, you won't hear anything, then you'll hear it whistle, then it stops as it hits the apex of the top, and then they start coming back down and they whistle actually pretty good. The other thing I did notice when I was shooting these, you don't want to shoot them into tall grass. I kind of figured it might catch the grass. Granted, they are kind of pointed, but I figured they're wide enough they'd catch it and if you want to flip the arrow up, I don't work that way. They tend to hit that tall grass, shoot underneath, and follow the ground. Short grass is a whole different thing. Like mowed across the lawn, they'll hit. And usually, if you're out far enough for like skipping a rock, they'll bounce. And it, it, that was actually kind of cool because they whistled off the bounce. And it just sat there and howled until it hit another tree, which is pretty kind of well, kind of interesting. But these are 5 16 inch wood shafts. They, I'm using my 35 pound bow because I don't feel like chasing them 200 yards. But they shoot pretty decent. We'll test them here in a bit. But that's what they are. They're, like I said, five holes, two pieces. Your, the inside piece, your shaft will fit into there. So if you, I wouldn't glue that when you're putting it in there. I would glue down the base in here and then, you know, seat it, snap it together, seat it in there. And then run some glue around here. That way you could actually take it off if you wanted to. Silicone glue, you could roll it right off, peel it off, but it'll hold it secure. If you don't have this glued on, as I found out, I got lucky, I found everything. And it slips forward a little bit. As soon as you shoot it, it'll blow the end off. Everything will go in the air. The front nose cone went in the air probably 25 yards. I happened to see it, saw where it landed. Luckily, the grass was decent. And found it put it back together no no issues but you'll take some losses if you're not careful i've shot it through trees and things like that and it hasn't broken it's actually this one so i've shot it a little bit it's not a super extensive they whistle whistling arrows are kind of fun now we'll go shoot all right this is the shooting part we're going to see how loud this is first off i'm going to be shooting from behind the camera a bit and the target is out there probably, I don't know, 15 yards or so. Now we'll get it, try it past. Not sure how that picked it up. I heard it howling once it went past it, so we'll see. Shooting past it didn't seem to pick up very well. We'll see what it does. I'm going to shoot in the air and drop an arrow close. Hopefully that got it. Smash the subscribe button such as you would your fearsome foe.